Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a date range to run a report on sales. So on the screen, I've got a form, which I've called update, and I've got a date range button, which I can click there. Now, if I change the date to say the 25th of May and to the 11th of July, and then click this button, it will activate a query and just give me those dates between those two dates. If I close that again and do a, a bit closer than that, if I come into June and go say the 22nd and then run that, there's only one. So basically you are creating a box where you can have a first date input for the date range and then a second date input for a date range. So I'm going to recreate this form and the query that it works with um, from scratch. So I just close that and start off by creating a blank form, form design and on that form, I just need to do two AB boxes. And I need to name these boxes and format these boxes. So click on that one. So I've got the property sheet open. And you've got format and all the sort of stuff there. But if I go to all at the top, I want to name this. So at the moment, it's not called anything. I'm going to call that date three. I've already got date one and two and this one I'm going to name date four date four so that's key that one that's how you can refer to whatever goes in these boxes and then I want to format these boxes to display a date so a short date and then you get the little date calendar popping up short date and then label enter first date and then label enter second date enter second date and then I need to just tidy these up with a range so go to a range put them as tabular so that's the first bit done and then I need to save the form and I'll call this FRM update one so I can get rid of it afterwards and then I'll do a command button to run the query when I've created the query so now I need the sales query that's going to look at whatever goes inside these two boxes now if I go to have a quick look at what we've got so far we've got a date range option there so if I do the 1st of June to the 1st of July that's what's in there at the moment now if I create a query, it's going to look at the information in there. So query design, and I want the sales table. So just have a reminder of the sales table. It's just a list of sales. So I want to filter this. So normally you just do a parameter query, but now I'm doing what's called a parameter form to do the same sort of thing. Now if I click on that, so I want to add all the fields. And the criteria for the invoice date field, if I just bring this up a little bit into criteria line I can get rid of these extra things so on the criteria line I want to look at whatever goes in that form so that's called form update one so if I start typing forms there you get this option when I can click on it and it will tell me which form I want if I do an exclamation mark I want form update one double click again now another exclamation mark will give me the options of date three and four. So if I go for date three, and now I need an and, because I need to do a between an and here, and, and then do all that again. Forms, double click, exclamation, update one, exclamation, date four. That's okay, and then in front of all of this, I need to put the word between. Just zoom that up, Shift F2. So we've got the end there, so I just need between. So between forms date three and forms update date four, that's what I want. That's okay, so that's good. So what you need to do now is just close the query for a minute and go back to the form and into design on the form to do a command button so we need to go into form design 
command button just draw that and go to miscellaneous run query next update to next and then call it date range to next and then just finish so you've got your little date range there so that should run the query so save the form have a look so now you it's on the 5th of may let's change the date to the 6th of may to the 1st of june and then you click the button and it runs you the query so when you run the query before you do all of that sometimes you just get blank information and it's not really what you want so if i just close this query change the date range 16th of may to the 1st of june and it gets less and less keep doing it come forward again to the 24th of june 24th of may run and it's getting less and less so that's how you do that and then what you could do is base uh, a report on this query now for this to work what you have to do is run the query so you've got some data so i've got some dates there i'll just run the query so there's some information otherwise you just get a blank report now if i create a report based on that report it should show you the data then you can save the data so that's the first thing you need to do so I'll just save this report i'll just call it rpt report update 2 okay then i can close that and then i can close that and now i can do the command button if i go back into design draw a command button it's going to run the report so it's report operations and preview report update 2 next and then just call it update 2 and then finish and then have a look so you've got a date range there so we've got update 2 it gives you that information obviously the report needs to sort it out we go back into this and change the date range let's go back into may update and it gives you all the other records so the trigger to this is you have to run the query first with some information in it before you base the report otherwise you always just get a blank report when you click the command button it's just a little thing you've got to bear in mind so now this button is no longer needed you don't need that because you're just going to run straight to a report but that report needs tidying up but hopefully that's um, been of use for you this little video thank you for your time and i'll see you on the next one